This is Miguel from Rat Rig. So a lot of people, when they're trying to pick out what kind of printer kit they want to get, they're looking at this or a Voron. So what, what can you tell me about the people that pick Rat Rig? E, that's a hard question because both projects are awesome. They both have the DIY market as a niche. Um, why would I recommend a, a Rat Rig? Bigger sizes, much more sturdier frame, which allows you to go quicker. I know some people will argue with me, but that's my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Sturdier frame allows you to go quicker. Bigger sizes, full documentation, no confusion, messing with manuals and guides. You have everything on one place, our rat rig docs. You have the build guide wiring. We cover everything. We have support. If you have any issue, you just contact us and we'll fix it for you. We'll help you. We want you to enjoy the process. And that's why I would pick uh, uh, the Vicor. It's just an overall much more enjoyable build and progress. If I were getting a Vicor, I'd probably opt for the 500 by 500, yeah. that huge build volume. Yeah, it's so, an awesome machine. Uh, do you sell a lot of those? Like, or do most customers tend to settle for like a 300 build volume or yeah, 350? Yeah, it's, it's funny you ask that because I think the 500, it's our top sales wow. printer. Yeah, mostly I, I think because of the Voron and Vicor comparison, so people get scattered between the two, the two projects. But when you want a big printer, you have no other choice than go with a rat rig. If you go with a pre-assembled machine, I doubt you'll get the performance that this has at that size. That 500 by 500, uh, how long does that take to put together? The same as the other. Okay. Yeah, it's actually just in a much bigger scale. Yeah, you just need a larger room or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. So will it fit through a door? I think that's probably it my does, biggest It concern. does, it does, it does. Okay. Just get the tape measure out beforehand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make take sure. Take the handles off the side. Yeah, make sure. Don't assemble it on the bathroom, right. and then you can take it off. Yeah, but it does. Everybody needs a 3D printer in the bathroom. I think so. <laughs> what is this, a 300? Yeah, this is a 300. This is the Vicar 3.1 with a few community mods, our new tool head, and a few mods of our own. So it's like an improved 3.1. This is a a Core XY, of course, the Vicor 3.1. Using an octopus board, we have our new tool head with an aluminum plate, allows for quicker accelerations and top high speeds. It's equipped with a LGX light with a Mosquito Magnum, so it's performing like crazy every day. I just stopped it right now so we can look at it, because if it were printing, we wouldn't be able to look at it yeah. <laughs> so fast. That's the enclosure door, if you want to remove it to, to have a better look. Okay. Look. Sturdy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. We can place it down. That's here. nice. That way you don't have to worry about the thing like yeah, overextending. Yeah, it's, it's always on the way. Yeah. Uh, right now, curiously, we also have the a filter. We call it Red Pack. Yeah, it's a, it's a mod of our own. All right, well, thanks for showing us this rat rig. I know there's a lot of rabid rats out there. They're the, <laughs> the rat rig fans. So uh, here you have it. Okay, thanks for showing me, Miguel. You're welcome. Have a good rest of your Pleasure. show. Pleasure.